Do you know that the National Stock Exchange of India is the largest equity derivatives exchange in the world by the number of contracts traded? In my thesis, I research on the Indian equity derivatives market. In the recent times, derivative trading in India has grown manifold, both by value and by the number of participants. This is more so after the COVID-19 pandemic. The number of active derivative traders have increased eightfold from less than half a million in 2019 to over four million now. While in the cash market, the number has grown from approximately 3 million in 2019 to over 11 million now. In terms of the value, the equity derivatives account for staggering 99.6% of Indian stock market volumes, totaling over $4.3 trillion per day, which roughly translates to 125% of the underlying company's market capitalization. This means every trading day, derivative trades over 1.25 times the entire Indian stock market capitalization. But everything is not as hunky-dory as it seems. A SEBI report published in January 2023 highlights that 90% of traders lose money in the Indian derivatives market, with retail traders on aggregate losing more than 80% of their bets. So the big question is, if the probability of losing money is so high why, in the derivative market, why are more and more traders dabbling in it? My primary research is focused on in-depth analysis of the performance of different categories of trader in the Indian derivatives market. I then validate the existing literature which leans on the behavioral aspects like entertainment, sensation seeking, speculation or inclination of gambling of the traders in, for this phenomena. Existing literature also shows that an increase in liquidity has a direct correlation with the quality of a market. Therefore, the Indian equity derivatives market being the most traded and highly liquid market should not have the presence of anomalies and arbitrage opportunities. But on analyzing the recent Nifty index futures data, I find regular mispricing of the futures with respect to the theoretical value. Prior studies mainly done on the US equities market has shown that there is a positive relationship between the mispricing of futures contracts and the price volatility of the underlying instrument. Using the most recent data from uh, the NSC, I find the association between the Nifty index futures mispricing and the India VIX to be positive and statistically significant before the COVID-19 pandemic. But in the post-pandemic period, the relationship holds only for the days of underpricing. So there appears to be a structural change in the Indian equity derivatives market in the aftermath of the pandemic. It has seen a sharp rise in the retail traders' participation during this period. And there have also been regulatory changes uh, introduced by the Securities and Exchange Board of India in the recent times. So I'm currently working on establishing the potential impact that the major regulatory changes and the exponential increase in the retail traders have on the Indian uh, derivatives market.